Welcome to Alignment Adventures. This is a podcast where we explore what it means to live a fulfilling, aligning, and present life. I'm your host, Lindsay Tanner, and I am so grateful that you are here. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to another episode of Alignment Adventures. I'm always excited each week to bring you the content of tuning back into your internal guidance and finding your alignment, but I'm like next level excited for this episode. I've been talking about doing this for a long time, but I'm finally bringing you a recorded internal guidance session that I did with one of my volunteers. So these are so powerful and so magical. And as much as I have explained them to you all, like I try to describe them with words, it's really hard to describe. And you really just have to listen and see the wisdom and the magic that comes through. But in case you forgot, this is a process I was trained in by Jess Lively a little over a year ago. She's been doing this for like over a decade, helping people connect with their intuition, or as I call it, your internal guidance. And basically what happens is I guide you into another like state, almost like an altered state, just through your breath and placing your awareness in your body. And then I play the role of your mind and I ask you questions and you get wisdom and answers and guidance, either in the form of words or images or sometimes just feelings. And it is just so cool to see what comes through. And not only are you receiving like the tangible next steps of what to do next, but you're feeling that energy. You're feeling that connection with the truest, wisest, most loving, connected part of you. A lot of times we've just lost that connection. And that's another thing that I love about this process is once you do this, you feel what it is truly like to be in your internal guidance and to receive those messages. So you can start to do this on your own through journaling or even like little voice messages to yourself. And another thing I love about this, there's so many things I love. You're getting guidance from you. It's not me telling you what to do. It's not me giving you advice or like preaching to you or whatever it may be. It's you getting the guidance from you. It is unique and personalized to your circumstance, your life. And it just empowers you. You remember how divine and connected and loved you are. It's just, it's so good. I could honestly keep going on and on and on, but let's talk about what you're going to hear today. So I have my first volunteer, Alyssa. You may recognize her voice. Alyssa, thank you so much for volunteering to share this on the podcast because a lot of times personal stuff comes up. So thank you for volunteering. I know this is going to resonate with so many of you because Alyssa is just now, well, she's been back at work for a while, but she had a baby this past year pretty soon around the time that I had Arlo a few months after, Um, but her husband is getting ready to go back to work. So we talk about that with her internal guidance. Her internal guidance shares their perspective on this situation that she's super stressed about. And that's another point I want to bring up. Sometimes it sounds a little seancey because I'm not talking to your mind. I'm talking to your intuition, your internal guidance. So I refer to you in third person or Alyssa in third person, and I address her internal guidance directly. So a lot of times that sounds like a seance, like internal guidance. What do you think about this? But that really helps you stay in that state because again, we're not asking the mind for its thoughts. Your mind has plenty of thoughts on these situations. And a lot of times I like to ask the mind beforehand so they can say their piece. But once we get into that state, your mind is somewhere else. You are not talking or speaking from your mind, which is such a beautiful practice. So these sessions last about 60 minutes and you're going to hear me asking the questions. I play the part of the mind. I'm the inquisitive mind. I try to ask all the questions that you would want to know. And I really kind of guide your internal guidance on what we want to receive. And do note that I had to cut this down a little bit. There are a lot of moments of silence and stillness, which is such a gift because how often do you get true silence and stillness from the mind? So I cut out a lot of those parts to make it more succinct for your listening pleasure. And I also cut out the 
beginning and the ending where I get her into her internal guidance and the end when we come back. But I am going to share her feedback at the end of the episode. So do note that there is more to the session than what you are hearing. I'm just kind of giving you the juicy parts of the session so you can kind of get an idea of what it is truly like. And you'll also get to witness Alyssa releasing some emotional weight, as I call it, or Jess Lively calls them emotional bean bags, because to her it felt like a bean bag being pulled out of her belly button. But basically what it is, is we're feeling those emotions that get stuck in the body, that heaviness, that tightness that we feel when we think about something that's really stressing us out. We can feel that in pure awareness. It is safe to feel that. And then you can let it go. And then you just feel so light afterwards. So you guys get to witness that. It is so beautiful. I have a feeling you guys are really going to resonate and want to know the answers to a lot of the things that we bring up with Alyssa's internal guidance, like trusting yourself, dealing with anxious thoughts, finding your own truth. So with all that being said, I can keep going on and on and on about how magical this is, but let's let you hear it for yourself. So I will see you at the end where we can talk about different ways that you can book your own internal guidance session or different ways that you can tune into this voice yourself. Allowing and listening. No need for forcing our thinking. Just allow and listen. Internal guidance. Is there anything you want Alyssa to know at the top of this call? Anything that you just want her to be aware of in this moment? I see a path that leads to a mountain. Hmm. Beautiful. Good job. Keep breathing and listening. Internal guidance. What is this path that you're showing, Alyssa? Breathing. Big exhales. I see rain. I hear the word peace. Hmm. Internal guidance. Do you want Alyssa to feel more peace in this moment? breathing internal guidance what is this image that you're showing Alyssa the path to the mountain does it symbolize anything for her go slowly Mm. does Alyssa need to slow down internal guidance doing a beautiful job of not saying anything when you don't hear anything keep breathing and tuning in internal guidance Does Alyssa need to slow down in this stage of her life that is perceived as very busy or chaotic? I just see someone walking slowly. Mm. What does that mean, internal guidance? Rest. Take time. Mm. Sounds amazing. But Alyssa is a mom of two. She's busy. You want her to rest and take time? Breathe, breathe, breathe. What about her responsibilities? Now the mind's going to want to come back in. That's why breathing is so important. I see a beach with sand and a chair and an umbrella. Mm. Sounds very relaxing. Internal guidance. Do you want Alyssa to go to the beach or do you want her to mentally go to the beach? slow Mm -hmm. enjoy beautiful reminders internal guidance what does Alyssa need to know about Dexter her husband going back to work how do you see that situation breathe and listen Is there anything she needs to release about the situation? Any tightness or heaviness she's feeling in the body right now? My chest. Mm, Okay. Let's go into that feeling. Describe it for me as much as you can. Like, what does it feel? Is it heavy? Is it light? Does it feel like a shape? It just feels tight. Mm. I see like a chain link link. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Let's go into that chain around her chest that feels so tight when she thinks about Dexter going back to work in this next stage of her life. Let's go into that feeling. What does it feel like? Does it have an emotion to it or is it just a tightness in the chest? A tightness. Okay. Let's let's allow ourselves to fully feel that. Is it safe to feel that internal guidance? Is it safe to go in there? <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Internal guidance, is it safe to feel this tightness on Alyssa's chest? Mm. Okay. Let's keep going into this tightness, even though we're not getting direct confirmation from your internal guidance. Go into that feeling, that tightness. It's just an emotion that we picked up somewhere along the lines that our body is holding on to because we didn't allow ourselves to feel it in the moment. So as much as it feels okay to you, you're going to go into that tightness and you're going to do whatever feels natural to release that tightness. It could be just breathing. It could be just feeling. You can need to do some movement in a certain way. You can need to cry. You can need to sneeze. You can need to laugh. There's no judgment from any part here. You are letting your internal guidance guide you into fully feeling this tightness so you can release it. We're going to breathe and go into that tight chain that is just constricting us on our chest. Allowing whatever comes up to come up, no judgment from the mind. Doing whatever feels intuitive in that moment. I see the chain breaking open. Oh, beautiful. How does it feel now? Does it not feel tight? Lighter. Can we keep going internal guidance or is, is that good enough for now? I hear the word yes. Yes, keep going. <laughs> mm. Can we keep juicing it all the way internal guidance or is that enough of releasing for now? It feels lighter. It feels open. I can breathe better. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, internal guidance. Okay. What does Alyssa need to know about this next stage in her life with Dexter going back to work. What do you want her to know in this moment? Internal guidance. Safety, strength, compassion. Are those all things she has within her internal guidance? You have the ability. Mm. Ability for what internal guidance? You have the ability to conquer things you think that you can't do. Mm. What does the mind think she can't do? Internal guidance that she can. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Taking care of two kids has challenges, but it's not impossible to do alone. Mm -hmm. Ask for help when you need it. Yeah. Internal guidance. What can she do in those moments when she's feeling overwhelmed or stressed, especially that first Monday on her own? I see someone breathing. Mm -hmm. Just breathing internal guidance when her kids are running around and demanding her attention. Just stop and breathe. I see myself in the kitchen taking a moment. Mm. Beautiful. Internal guidance. I want to go back to a word you mentioned when we were first talking about this. Passion. What did you mean by that? Is there a passion that you want Alyssa to act on? I see someone walking on the path. Mm. They're walking towards the mountain. There's a light. They're taking their time. They feel calm. Mm. Everything's calm. Beautiful. Is Alyssa on this path right now? Path is dark, but there are lights and stars. Mm. internal guidance what does this light on the path represent your guidance motivation mm. is there anything you want her to know as Alyssa walks this path towards her passion keep walking mm. is the mind getting in the way at all as she walks this path yes Mm, how so, internal guidance? 
Your mind can tell you that you can't do something even when you can. Mm -hmm. Why does it do that? There can be intrusive thoughts that you need to push aside. Focus on your end goal. Take things day by day. Internal guidance. Are these intrusive thoughts even true? No. How can she get rid of them or work past them? Remind yourself of what is fact. What is fact? Internal guidance. From your perspective, what is factual for Alyssa? Alyssa will worry about things before they happen. Mm -hmm. Catastrophize different events. Plan for all kinds of different outcomes. Step back and go with what's in front of you. Mm -hmm. Whatever is true. How do you see those situations when Alyssa's mind wants to make the worst outcome? How do you see those situations in general guidance? Alyssa always thinks things will turn out worse than they do. She needs to let that go. Mm -hmm. How can she let that go? Can you help her let that go? Remembering you are safe. You have resources. You have help. You aren't truly doing anything alone. Is she always safe, internal guidance, even when it seems like a dangerous situation? Yes. No matter what. Breathe and listen. She's always safe, internal guidance, correct? Yes, she's in charge of her own safety. Mm. Why does the mind think it's external? Why do we think? Does it think that it can get safety from external factors when it's within? Alyssa doesn't like to sit with uncomfortable feelings, mm. which she can in turn think are unsafe, leading to anxious thoughts. Internal guidance, where did this belief come from? From needing reassurance or second guessing not believing the decisions you were making were the right ones, feeling out of control of your body during anxious episodes. Internal guidance, can you help her let some of that go? Yes. How so? More calming thoughts, internal reassurance, knowing you're making the best choice possible. How can she know internal guidance? The mind wants to second guess everything. How can she truly know she's making the best decision? Trust your gut and your instinct feeling. Don't let the mind try and tell you something that isn't true or that you don't feel something in your bones. Mm -hmm. Internal guidance, can you just let Alyssa feel that feeling of trust for a few moments? So when these anxious thoughts come up or second guessing yourself, whatever it is, she knows that she can tune back into that trust. Can you just allow her to feel that trust for a few moments in every cell of her body? She can recognize that feeling when it comes up. Again. Internal guidance. Is there anything you can do to help Alyssa release that anxiousness? Is there any tightness or heaviness in her body around that? Or does it feel light and clear? She is free and light mm. and move effortlessly. Even when her mind wants to think of worst case, she's still free and light and can take it day by day. Day by day, one thing as it comes. Mm. Eternal guidance, is there anything else you want Alyssa to know in her life right now? Maybe when it comes to relationships or career or health or any of those categories. 
Be open-minded, go with the flow. Mm. Don't try and control everything around you. The mind loves to control internal guidance. Can you help it release some of that control? You can release your thoughts by remembering what is true and factual. Mm. Not every thought you have is a fact. Mm. How can Alyssa remember this in her day to day when her emotions come up and she's in the moment and she's worried? How can she remember that her thoughts are facts? Ground yourself, look around, Mm. remind yourself what you see, what is a fact, what's in the room with you. Take a next step of what you need to do without taking five steps forward. Mm. Love that advice. Internal guidance. How does Alyssa know what the next step is? Conquer one thing at a time. Mm. Complete what's right in front of you before worrying about something else. Internal guidance. If you were going to keep controlling Alyssa's body, even after this call, after she releases back and goes back into the mind, what's the first thing you'd have her do after this call is over? Internal guidance. Stretch and move your body. Mm. Anything in particular or just intuitive movements, internal guidance? Deep breaths of fresh air, moving your body outside, Mm. movement for joy. Mm -hmm. Internal guidance. Alyssa's body has done so many magnificent things this year. In the past few years, as she's birthed her sons, is there any messages you want to give to her? about her body expect change quickly Mm. move for joy and health not to reshape your body Mm. results take time keep working internal guidance do you care about results i care about the path you take What path do you want Alyssa to take if you had to choose? Moving your body because you want to, not because you have to. Does the mind think she has to work out all the time and do all this stuff to quote unquote, get back in shape? Yes. Mm, Can we let that go? Internal guidance. Is there any heaviness or tightness around that subject that she's feeling? Move for joy, nourish your body for joy and good health. Mm. Enjoy your movement. Pick things that bring you happiness. Mm. So when Alyssa's deciding what workout to do or what movement to do or what to eat, should she just let joy guide her in that decision? She should use her intuition and what her body needs at that time. How does she know what she needs? Go with your gut. Do what's going to make you happy and feel good. Is it okay if she makes decisions that are perceived as healthy by society? Internal guidance? Yes. How do you see that? Everyone's definition of health is different. Mm. What is your definition of health? Internal guidance. Creating sustainable habits using more intuition when it comes with food and fueling your body. Can you help her tune in more internal guidance? How can she do this for all the decisions she needs to make so she doesn't have to second guess herself? How can she tune into you in her day to day? Look inward for reassurance and guidance rather than outward. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to follow anybody else's advice. She's completely aware of the things that she needs to do. She just needs to release any fear when it comes to doing those things. Beautiful. Can you help her release that fear when it comes up? Yes. What can she do when she feels fear? Turn inward, take deep breaths, Mm -hmm. listen to her gut. Remember what is a fact and what is true. Mm. Internal guidance, is there anything else you want Alyssa to know as we wrap up this 
beautiful conversation with you. Take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. Release the pressure on yourself to make sure that everything goes perfect. Have some grace. Internal guidance, does perfect exist? No. Mm. Beautiful. Internal guidance, thank you for sharing your wisdom with us today. So take a few more deep breaths as we sit in this presence, this stillness. Oh my goodness, how magical was that? I hope you guys really got a good feel of what an internal guidance session includes and what it is like from that snippet from Alyssa's session. So thank you again, Alyssa, for being our brave volunteer and for sharing it on the podcast. I do want to share her feedback. So afterwards, I like to send a little survey because not only is the session powerful, but then I feel like the time afterwards, you're like integrating that energy. So here's what Alyssa had to say. She said, I could seriously listen to your voice all day. I was so relaxed and in a trance-like state. Lindsay has the most calming presence about her and I felt so at ease. She clearly stated how the session was going to go from the very beginning so that there were no questions. I could listen to her voice all day. I was surprised by how much I got out of the session and how easy it was to tap into my inner guidance. I highly recommend a session with Lindsay. Well, thank you, Alyssa. I'm just a mirror reflecting you back to you. Um, and that's, again, what I love about this process is I'm just the facilitator. I'm not telling you what is right for you. I'm helping you connect with you. And I just, the calm vessel that helps you bridge that connection, <laughs> which again, like I said in the beginning, once you have that connection, you know what it feels like and you can start to do it on your own. Sometimes you just need that help, that boost, someone to ask the question, someone to guide you into that space and then ask the questions that you want to hear. So let's get into some ways that you can book your own internal guidance session. So I've had the classic one-on-one -on -one 60 minute session up on my website for a year now and I've been doing that with people and they've been so magical so I will leave the link in the show notes for that but I also have created a new offer for those of you that want to do maybe more than one session like I had someone over the summer that wanted to do multiple sessions with me instead of going to like traditional talk therapy which I'm not recommending doing this instead of talk therapy ask your internal guidance what it wants but this could be a good alternative if you are seeking that guidance. Like if you're seeking something external, this is the perfect invitation to go inward and get your own answers from yourself. So that's an option for you as well. It's a bundle of six sessions and you get one for free. So it's a discounted price. Again, I will leave that in the show notes. If you have questions on any of this, please reach out through my email because I'm not on Instagram right now at hello at lindsay with an a m tanner.com i can answer any questions you have before booking a session or if you just want to book one it's all done through the platform you'll see my availability all that good stuff and all you need for this session is a quiet comfortable spot headphones are always a good idea too but just a comfortable quiet spot it's all done online through zoom and we can record it that way so you can get the recording back and listen to it later I'm just so excited for you guys to experience this as well. So I have more of these coming to you. If you're interested to hear more of these sessions and what comes through, I'll be sharing them on the Fridays in the coming weeks because I'm still releasing two episodes a week in this time and space. So please share this episode with anyone that you think needs to hear this message or anyone that you think could benefit from an internal guidance session. That is my mission and my goal to help as many people as possible connect to their internal guidance. And that reminds me, I do have a YouTube video where I explain how to connect to your internal guidance. I will link that in the show notes. And I still have my like mini course. It's called discover your internal guidance. It's kind of like a different way to approach this and it's more self-paced. So I leave the link in the show notes for that as well. There's many different ways you can do this, but I know a lot of times it's just so beneficial to do it one-on-one -on -one and get that one-on-one -on -one connection and guidance. So sending you all so much love, all the high vibes. And of course, I will see you in the next episode of Alignment Adventures. Bye.